Welcome to the No, I'm Brian. I'm Gus. Bad news, guys. We did not get a new trailer for Cyberpunk 2077 at Gamescom. I was really hoping we were. I, I know, thought we too. might get one. Yeah. Uh, but there is a bit of good news, too. Its developer, CD Projekt Red, did release four new screenshots. Ooh. Four <laughs> of the very highly anticipated game. So we're going to dig in and see if they can give us any new details about what to expect. Yeah, we're going to go mining. First, though, let's go over briefly what we know about Cyberpunk 2077 so far. Obviously, the game is set in a futuristic metropolis called Night City, which is located in California. Uh, and it's got some issues to say the least. As the trailer from E3 told us, Night City's got a sky high rate of violence and a lot of people living below the poverty line. You play as V, who is a mercenary that you're able to customize, including their gender, clothing, and appearance. And you got a popped collar, so that's... Uh, popping's optional. That's true. We also know that Night City, it's run by corporations, there are constant warring gangs, robots and robotics also play a big factor in it, and the citizens of Night City carry guns around for their own protection, so a little bit of a lawless environment. Mm, yeah, so it's a dystopian metropolis, a bit in the tradition of Blade Runner, where law and order have broken down and technology has created both the potential for a better life, while also introducing a lot of problems into the equation. Also keep in mind that the game is in the first person perspective, which CD Projekt Red said was an intentional choice to make the game feel more immersive, so you feel like you are the hero of the story. Okay, now onto the screenshots. So the first one shows, we assume your character V, you're looking up at three people. One of them has like a robot prosthetic while the other is crossing his arms. Meanwhile, the third guy in the center, he's wearing kind of a zip up jacket and he's pointing a gun at you and it looks like he's holding the gun with looks like mechanical fingers yeah i think uh when i saw the screenshot i told you it made me yes. think of the beginning of fallout new vegas totally. when benny spoiler for the beginning of fallout new vegas when <laughs> benny shoots you in the face and it uh, might be one of those like tributes they do maybe yeah, yeah it's yeah. you know the but it's it's also kind of generic the person with the gun right. in the center flanked by right. uh his, two, his thugs yeah his two thugs. Uh, of course some other details it looks like you're outdoors again like fallout new vegas Ooh. Uh, because you can see a patch of sunlight shining through but the rest of the screenshot is full of tall buildings which makes sense given the game's urban landscape. A few other things, the guys in the screenshots, they don't have badges or uniform, probably not police. It's possible they're just, you know, some random thugs you cross paths with. In another screenshot, we see a man with a partially shaved head sitting on a chair looking off into the distance. There's a female character next to him and she's holding what looks like long red sticks in her hand, uh, three of which she's stuck in his chest. Oh. Maybe it's some kind of Futuristic acupuncture? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, the room also has candles in it. We see a handgun on a table nearby. There's a poster in the background that said Riot in big letters. And at the top, the poster reads lights, music, and dance. So maybe an ad for a concert or a rave. Or maybe it's an ad for a riot. Maybe like in the, in the future, <laughs> yeah. you advertise riots. So like, hey, music and dance you want a riot? Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, some people think that the guy is Jackie Wells, who is your partner in crime, uh, your muscle in the game. Yeah, I talked to Adam Ellis who played the E3 demo. He said he definitely feels like it's Jackie Wells. Mm. So what's definitely clear, also all those candles in the picture, a major fire hazard, so safety first. Come in the on. future, they got that figured out. No, nothing burns in the future. Oh yeah, all right. Uh, so that brings us to the third screenshot, which shows the same guy who we think might be Jackie Wells. In this image, he's taking cover behind the post. Well, we can't see exactly, but we assume he's hiding from some gunfire. Uh, there are bullet holes in the furniture behind them and we can see streaks of light, which may be the result of cracks in the walls, or they could be streaks from flying projectiles. Some people think this might be a tiny little preview of Cyberpunk 2077's gameplay, or just a cinematic. We don't really know. Yeah, who knows? And they, that would be crazy. It looks super good if that is gameplay. De oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the last picture might be the most interesting. It shows you and Jackie in a standoff with three other characters. Everyone is pointing guns at everyone else in a scene that's kind of reminiscent of the climax of the movie Reservoir Dogs. That's what it reminded me of. Mm, yeah, 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 just totally. everybody's kind of got everybody. Your character, V, you got your gun under the chin of a guy who has some sort of mechanical device over his face. It could be a visor, but it seems more likely that it's some sort of like cybernetic implant plant maybe he's also got a gun pointed at you and he's got all these cords kind of running around his jacket uh, you think they would have like wireless jackets in the future? Yeah, kind of, right. Kind of it's the bummer. future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if they've got fire control. <laughs> yeah, you know? why not wireless jacket? Yeah. It's coming in 2078. That's right. Uh, and Jackie's pointing a gun at that guy too, as well as a second assailant who also, guess what? Has a gun drawn. Mm -hmm. And there's a third person on the right side of the picture. He's also wearing some sort of glowing implant 
or headpiece, and he's got either a semi-automatic, automatic weapon, kind of like an AK-47. So thing. it's a tense situation to say the least. It is. There's also a chair in the background of the shot, and behind it are what look like some monitors. We also see what might be a skull logo on a back wall in kind of the top center of the screenshot. The middle bad guy, if you look at his shirt, he's also wearing kind of what looks like a skull logo. So maybe this is their hideout that you've infiltrated. They're just really into skulls. Yeah, yeah. they're not happy with you yeah, regardless. No. Uh, interestingly, every screenshot has a gun in it. Although in the second one, it's just resting on a nearby table. Maybe they're like Team Skull from Pokemon Sun and Moon. That would be awesome. So anyway, that's about all we found in these screenshots. Did you guys notice anything we didn't? I'm sure you did. Let us know in the comments. And for all your Cyberpunk 2077 news, be sure to like this video. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the No.